look. Say hey. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my must-have face brushes. I was going to do face brushes and my, uh, eye brushes, but this video is already over 15 minutes long, and I was like, you know what? Let's just do face brushes and then do a separate eye brush one because I know you don't want to sit here for 30 minutes listening to me talk about makeup brushes, so I got you. So these are all the brushes, face brushes, I have to talk about with you today. So get you a cup of coffee, get you a glass of wine, prop your feet up, and get ready to hear me talk my head off. Yeah, so I did a post on Instagram asking y'all what y'all wanted to see, and this was like definitely it. I posted three things, either a summer makeup look, must-have makeup brushes, or my um, top beauty favorites at the moment. And this and the top beauty favorites were the most highly requested. So I decided to go ahead and film this one first. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoy it. And most of this is Morphe brushes. Morphe brushes you do have to order online, which sucks. But honestly, good makeup brushes make all the difference. It's better to invest in good makeup brushes instead of just buying crappy makeup brushes and not working and then trying to buy a little bit better of a makeup brush and you're still not satisfied. It's better to just go ahead and buy them. The good ones and these are very very affordable for good makeup brushes i know like mac and sigma are very very high end and they are a little bit pricey but also those are great quality but morphe is such good quality and such a good price i will um display the names of all the brushes that i'm talking about on the screen and you can just go to morphebrushes.com and type it into the search bar and it will pop up for y'all and there's also a bunch of discount codes i know you can use jack attack i'll put it on the screen right here and that's 10 percent off of your whole order so yeah i just wanted to mention that for y'all So the first brush I'm going to be talking about is the Morphe M433. And this is what I use for foundation. This has changed my foundation and makes it go on so smoothly. This brush is so dense. It doesn't like suck up a lot of your foundation. It really just helps to blend it into your skin. I just kind of buff it into my skin and it really creates a flawless finish. I love this. I got my mom onto it. I got my sister onto it and they both love it too. If anybody ever asks for a good recommendation for a foundation brush, I always, always recommend this one. Okay, so don't judge me, but I'm going to talk about this filthy sponge right here. This is my Real Technique sponge. This is $7. I personally have never tried a beauty blender, and beauty blenders are $20. I just can't make myself spend $20 on a sponge. I know that they're supposedly like so amazing but i've heard really good things about this too and people compare this to the beauty blender so this is just what i use what you want to do is you want to wet this underneath the sink and squeeze it about 20 times that's what i do and i get it really really big and really really dampened and then i will pump some of my foundation onto this sponge and i will just pounce it into my skin you don't want to rub you want to pounce and it takes a while to get used to doing that. It pounces the foundation into your skin instead of rubbing it and moving it around and shearing it out. It really just gives you the fullest coverage. And also when it's damp, it picks up excess product so your makeup will not be cakey or anything like that. I use this sponge for foundation, for concealer, and for baking. I will blend up my concealer with this and then I will go in with my loose powder and I will um, apply that powder with this. And so this really is my number one top makeup item that I think that you need, the top makeup brush or sponge or applicator, whatever you wanna call it, that I highly recommend because it is so versatile. You can use it for so many things. And so yes, this is what I recommend for your face if you don't wanna go out and spend money on a makeup brush or anything. Um, how I clean this, it's not clean right now, obviously, but I will get a bar of soap and I will rub it on it, like get the bar and just kind of rub it and I will squeeze it out underneath the sink and just keep rubbing it until it is back to its normal color, which is a bright orange. So yes, I definitely recommend this. You can get it at Ulta. Sometimes I can find them at Walgreens and sometimes Target, wherever they sell real. Oh, also this is from Real Techniques too. And this is a good face um, brush if you didn't want to get the Morphe one, if you didn't want to order that. 
Um, this is called the Expert Face Brush, and this is great for blending in your foundation as well. And also, it's good for concealer. So yes, you can get this at Target, Walgreens, and all that as well. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about concealer. If I'm not using the orange spun, spun, the orange spun, I, I said it again, orange sponge. I will use this Morphe G2 brush. I will do close-ups and write the names of all these on the screen. But I love this. It fits perfectly underneath your eyes, and it just blends out your concealer. You don't want to rub. Again, you want to pat it in. And it just really does a great job of blending it out and making it not look cakey or anything like that. All these brushes I'm talking about are mostly from Morphe. I'm obsessed with Morphe. They sell really, really great affordable makeup brushes. So yeah, if you hear me, if you're sick of hearing me talk about Morphe, I'm sorry. I just love them so much. Okay, now to set. Okay, so I blend out my concealer and I want to set that with a powder. I will normally use this e.l.f. small tapered brush. So this is from e.l.f. If you don't know what e.l.f. is, it is from Target. And this brush was one, one either $1 or $3. They are very, very affordable. And I really, really like this for setting my concealer. Okay, for blush, I highly recommend this Morphe E4 brush. It is so stinking soft and it just applies the products to your cheek perfectly. This is the softest blush brush I've ever used. It applies it to where it's not like patchy or splotchy because I know like some brushes, they just don't really apply the product that well and blend it out for you. This applies it amazing. I highly recommend this. This is the Morphe E4. Okay, for bronzing, I like the Morphe M527. It is a massive paddle brush like it is so big and so fluffy and it really just applies the product so perfectly i mean i love it so much it blends out everything so amazingly and i really really like it and i also like the real techniques bronzing brush too so if you don't want to order again i recommend real techniques Okay, this has changed my contour game. For contouring, you have to have a good brush because it really, really makes a world of difference. I use the Morphe M523. And this is kind of tapered at the top. And then it's, you know, it kind of comes to a point. But it still has the bristles on the side. So it just really creates that sharp contour for you. But it's also blending it out at the same time. This brush is amazing. Out of all these brushes that I talk about, you need this one. Like, it changes the contour game. Okay, to clean up my contour, if I'm going to go in with a loose powder and just kind of chisel it out just to sharpen it up, I will use this Morphe M459. I just dip it into my powder and I just apply that underneath my contour and... It's amazing, and it really makes your contour look so sharp, not muddy at all. It just cleans it up, you know, if you're being a little sloppy, really makes the difference. Okay, whew, this is going to be a long video, I can already tell. So for highlighting, what I like to use is the Morphe M501. This just applies highlight so perfectly. I apply highlight right here, and then I blend it back. And it's really just the perfect size for highlight. It fits right perfectly on your cheekbone. I'll apply a little bit right here. And you can pop it on the tip of your nose. And it's really just perfect for highlighting. It's real fluffy. And I highly recommend this one. And also, if you want to get a highlighting brush from the drugstore, one I recommend is Sonia Kashuk. This is number 129. I used to use this all the time. And I really, really like this. You can pick it up at Target. And it does a great job. So I have two more brushes I'm going to talk about with y'all. This one is from e.l.f. and this is the Flawless Concealer Brush. Um, if, you know, if you watch my channel, you know that I use the, what is it called? The Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. And so this is what I apply that with. I just dip it in there and I just apply it and it's, oh my gosh, let me show you my daughter right now. <laughs> Sailor, look. You look really pretty. You look really, really pretty. I like that color on you. It looks good. It looks really, really so good. So anyways, that's what I apply my concealer or that um, color corrector with. And um, this is a dollar, I'm pretty sure, at Target. 
Okay, the last brush I'm going to talk about with y'all is this Morphe M558. If you nose contour, I highly recommend this one. It just fits perfectly on the sides of your nose. It blends everything out. It makes it look real natural. This is what I've been using to contour my nose, and I've really, really been liking it. It doesn't apply a bunch of product, so it doesn't make it look like two sharp lines on the sides of your nose. It really, really just lightly does some, and it just gives you a nice nose contour. So that is all the brushes I'm going to talk about with y'all today. My next one will be my must-have eye brushes, but I didn't want this video to be like 30 minutes because, I mean, I know y'all got lives and stuff y'all got to do, so I just wanted to do the face brushes first. So yeah, I hope that this was helpful for y'all. If y'all have any uh, brushes that I need to check out and that you love and you recommend for me, please leave them down in the comments. I would love to check them out. And thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye. Say bye. Blow my kiss. Mwah. Good job.